Uh, tomorrow, the question is how big the hike? 75 basis points, 100 basis points. People thought it'd be 50 or 75, uh, but inflation has stayed very high. At the July meeting, Jay Powell opened the door to 100 basis points when he said that he wouldn't hesitate to make an even larger move mm -hmm. than that one, which was 75, if the committee were to conclude it was appropriate. What are they going to do, in your view, 75 or 100? I believe they'll do 75. I think they'll stay the course that they've been on. Um, I, I don't think they want to have another departure. It might signal, um, you know, a real uh, panic setting in about the inflation situation. I think they, they want to be deliberate. And so I believe they'll do 75, but I cannot fully rule out 100. I can rule out 50. There is no justification for dialing back at this point. But so, uh, I think, I, I really think the highest probability is 75. So what about their outlook for the economy? Everyone's trying to figure out, everyone's accepting, I think, that the rate's gonna end up higher at the end of this year and go up further next year, 2023. What are they gonna signal there? Well, that will be very interesting. We'll, we'll, we'll look at, for, at the summary of economic projections that comes out tomorrow to see if they are more hawkish, you know. In June, they they had a year-end uh, policy rate setting of 375 to 400 basis points. So let's call that 4%. The, it'll be very interesting to see whether uh, a, a, a number of the people on the committee feel that they need to go well beyond 4% by year-end. That would be an interesting mm -hmm. development. And then, of course, in all likelihood, uh, we'll get some indication from the year-end 2023 policy setting, but it doesn't tell you exactly what the yeah. path is during the year. So, but Dennis, is it possible we are going to see some dots? Because the highest dots in June for 2023, I believe, were uh, definitely in the uh, you know slightly above 4%. Could we see anybody throwing out a 5% dot, do you think, for 2023? I think it's possible. Uh, it, you know, the committee is now 19 people, and there are a range of uh, views on on the committee. Some people are very hawkish. Some are are, are are less hawkish. I don't think there are any doves to speak of at this moment. So it wouldn't surprise me if you saw a five percent uh, dot. But what I look at is sort of w w what appears to be the consensus. To, you know, we use the term central tendency mm -hmm. of, the, of the dots uh, and how tight or how how spread that central part of the committee is and whether it is getting tighter and more the consensus is stronger or whether, in fact, there's a, a wide variety of, uh, of opinions. We, we, we pay attention to the median, but sometimes the median mm -hmm. really doesn't tell you what the spread is around right. the median. So, Dennis, looking at the CPI composition from last week, when you also consider the so-called totality of the data, like Chair Powell puts it, what are you focusing on right now when you call a 75 basis point hike tomorrow? I'm looking at, I'm focusing on core indications of core, core CPI last week. Unfortunately, we won't have any more PCE data until the end of the month. Um, and that, that, reflects the, the attention of the committee on the so-called underlying inflation. That's what they're really interested in. So they want to kind of factor out the things that jump around from month to month. I'm also focused on the month over month readings because that tells you what the run rate of the pace of change of prices is at the moment. We tend to focus too much on the 12 month number and the 12-month number has a lot of history that, quite frankly, isn't relevant to what's going on right now. 10 months ago, 11 months ago, 12 months ago, you could have had a very strong uh, price increase month, but it doesn't necessarily tell you what is the inflation challenge of the moment. Dennis, when you take a look at the FedEx story, and I suppose that is a microcosm of the risks for the U.S. consumer, how do you view the strength of the consumer at the moment on the balance of the data? Well, the previous sp uh, speaker talked about the consumer picking up or taking on more uh, consumer debt, credit card debt and such, in order to, to sustain spending. 
you know, I think it's uh, very likely that, broadly speaking, households in America are uh, sort of running through their savings and getting to the point where they either have to take on debt or cut back a little bit. I, I, I think that's what the, the Fed hopes for, that uh, there's a softening of consumer demand. And it seems to me that that's likely uh, now and in the coming months. In terms of Jay Powell's press conference and the kinds of questions he's going to be asked, do you expect him to talk about the pain, the higher unemployment that this nation is going to have to accept? And is he going to confirm what some Fed bank presidents have said, that, that they see the funds rate going up and staying up next year, not going up and inflation peaks and it comes down, but staying high for the course of 2023? Well, the, the, the high for longer message, um, uh, Neil Kashkari was very strong on this point a while back, the, the Minneapolis Fed president, is something I think they have to get across because it, it's just very unlikely that you're going to see a pivot from one meeting to the other going from hawkish to dovish overnight unless it's a very unusual set of circumstances. So I would expect that once they get to a point they feel they need to either pause or stop, that rate will will be uh, sustained for, for probably several meetings. I, I, I That's my expected path of policy. So well through, I think, 2023, uh, we, we, we may not see much in the way of change of the policy rate.